up guys, it is me Max, back again with another guitar tutorial and today we are going to take a look at one of my current favorite songs, Mama's Prayers by JP Cooper and Stormzy. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous song and it's super simple to play. We need a capo on the third fret, the song is in standard tuning and my Instagram account is in the description if you want to talk to me or see what's going on in my life or something like that, I guess. Feel free to check that out. And without any further ado, let's jump into the song. First of all, let's take a look at the intro of the song because after having done that, there is only one riff left because we play the exact same thing in the verse and chorus. So we start off with a... G. First finger on the 5th fret on the 5th string, 2nd finger on the 6th fret on the 6th string, and 3rd finger on the 6th fret on the 1st string. Then we move on to an A minor. 1st finger on the 4th fret on the 2nd string, 2nd finger on the 5th fret on the 4th string, and 3rd finger on the 5th fret on the 3rd string. And as you can see, we have to mute the sixth string, and we do that by wrapping our thumb around the top of our guitar neck here and just slightly touching that sixth string. So we've got the G, the A minor. Now we've got our one and only not so standard chord, A, C minor. It's a bar chord, so we put our first finger across the fifth down to the first string on the sixth fret. Now we put our third finger onto the eighth on the fourth string, our pinky onto the eighth on the third string, and our second finger onto the seventh on the second string. And as you can hear, once again, we have to mute that sixth string, and this time around, we do it by slightly touching it with our first finger over here. And that's going to be our third chord. So, G, A minor, C minor, and we go back to the G. And now we've got one more chord before jumping into the actual main riff, and that is A, C. First finger on the fourth fret on the second string, second finger on the fifth fret, on the 4th string and 3rd finger on the 6th fret on the 5th string. And once again we have to mute the 6th string. We can either do it with our 3rd finger over here or with our thumb over here by wrapping around again. That is totally up to you. So we go G, A minor, C minor, And now we get into our main riff. For some reason, my camera really wants to mess with me today because it always keeps focusing on this eye over here. I mean, it's pretty cool and I love this shirt, but it's pretty distracting seeing the focus of the camera shift over to that over and over again. But hopefully my fingers will not be blurred in the video. We're gonna keep on moving and we're gonna kick our main riff off the same way we did the intro. So G, followed by A minor, followed by C minor, followed by G. Now we've got two new chords, well, three new chords actually, because we go D, even though I'm gonna put a twist on that D, but first of all, let's take a look at what it actually should look like. First finger on the fifth fret on the third string, second finger on the fifth fret on the first string, and third finger on the sixth fret on the second string. And usually we would mute the sixth and fifth string with our thumb by wrapping around. So it would sound like this, but actually because of all of those bass notes we've got going on in this song, I recommend only muting the sixth string. Sounds a bit odd but it kind of works um, once we've shifted that D up by two frets, basically, or three. And so we've got the G, the A minor, the C minor, and the G. Now we go D, E minor. So a second finger 
on the fifth fret on the fifth string and third finger on the fifth fret on the fourth string, followed up with an A major. So first finger on the fifth fret on the fourth string, second finger on the fifth fret on the third string and third finger on the fifth fret on the second string. Once again, we have to mute the sixth string here. And let's recap. We've got G, A minor, C minor, G, D, E minor, A. Now we go back to the C minor and G. And then we go C and do the entire thing over again. What do we do rhythm wise? Well, it's actually not too crazy because we can't go too fast in order not to ruin the whole aesthetic of the song. So whatever you do, keep it slow and keep it mellow. And what I recommend doing um, kind of works throughout the entire thing is just going down and then right before you switch down again and on the next chord. And that is the entire song. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop it a thumbs up. Helps me out more than you might think. And if you haven't done so already and are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's somewhere down there. And there's nothing left to say except for, as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.